I see a lot of people covering stuff up wet. I've had quite a few cases mm-hmm. where the conventional wisdom is they go, oh, it's leaking and the, the walls are rotted and the framing's rotted. And I go look at it and go, well, no, they waterproofed it really well, actually. They just cover everything up wet. The framing was wet. The sheathing was wet. Some of these guys, you ask them, like, well, what were you thinking? I mean, you know, building code says don't cover it up until you have a moisture content less than 19%. You know, these guys are like, well, you know, we, we tested it in a couple of spots and then we covered everything and we superheated the building. And <laughs> you go, oh, well... <laughs> Okay. That, that's how they all dry out their framing is those giant yeah. dragon heaters. And they do the sheetrock too with propane heaters. Yeah, they'll do that. It they adds do. moisture. Propane heaters, you're just adding moisture to the buildings. And if you have materials, like I'll just use OSB, for example. If you have a material that has a perm of less than one and you're trying to dry it from the inside to outside, it's not going to happen. Just, yeah, the predominantly a lot of builders do it that way. I mean, I've walked into when I was a PM, I've walked into buildings that the sheet rock, the mutters and the tapers are trying to dry it out and literally giant drops, just the entire ceilings just covered in droplets, <laughs> you know? Yeah. 